Hello. Um, th this video is going to talk about uh, basic branch instructions. So first to understand what branching is, we have to understand labels. So as we can see here, this branch instruction, branch if, equal, branch if equal, which we'll get to in a second, compares two numbers, two registers. And if that's the case, it goes to a, a specific label. Well, what's the label? Well, in this case, we have what's called the equal label, which I labeled here. Um, labels are denoted with some words, underscore, you can use those, and then a, a colon at the end of it. So that denotes this whole, this label, well, it labels this area of code, right? So in, in this case, um, it will branch off if these two numbers are equal, as the branch if equal instruction is, it compares T1 and T2, and it branches to that statements that labels address if T1 and T2 are equal. So in this case, we have five and five for T1 and T2. So the expected behavior is that it brand, it goes directly to here. So, uh, so line 13 and 14 are skipped because it goes straight to equal label. So as you can see here, the summarize, we have a, a message in data, dot data. We will have that in all of the, these programs just for testing purposes. We have in, in our text section, we have our main, which initializes T1 and T2 registers, we both five. So we would expect them, they're equal. So we would expect the branch to this label, print out a message and end the program. If they're not equal, this program, this, uh, line 11 here will be ignored and it will move on to just ending the program. So that's test both, both cases here. So let's assemble and run. As you can see here, since five and five are obviously equal, it prints out the statement equal. Okay, so now, now that's test, that's replace T1 with six. So these numbers are not equal now. So that's assemble and run. And as you can see, nothing happens. The program just ends. So the, the the program goes initialize, initialize. It compares, but it does not branch because they're not equal. And then the program ends. OK, next, let's do branch if greater than or equal to 0 instruction, or BGEZ instruction. Simply put, it compares a register, T1 in this case, and branches to that label's address if it is greater than or equal to zero. So here we're initializing T1 to B3. Um, and then we're comparing T1 to zero. So if it's greater than or equal to, which it is, it should branch to this label. And if not, it won the program. So let's test this. As you can see, it prints out greater than or equal to zero. But now let's do negative three and see what happens. See now it's blank because it it just it did not branch here, it just ended the program with syscall ten. All right. So now let's move on to um let's move on to branch if greater than zero or BGTC instruction. So we are, there should be a comma there. We are initializing T1 to B1. And since one is greater than zero, it should go over to this greater label, print on a message, and then end the program. But if it's not greater than zero, it would just not branch and then end the program. So let's test this one out. See, greater than zero. And now let's do negative one. It's just blank because it's negative one is less than zero. Okay, moving on to branch if less than or equal to zero. So starting off here, we are initializing T1 to be negative one. And then we're getting to the instruction here. Branch if less than zero or BLEZ instruction. It branches to the address if 
Simply put, the number is less than or equal to zero. So since negative one is less than or equal to zero, we would expect that it to be branched off to here. And then this, the message print out, and then the program ends. But if it's, if it's greater, if it's zero or, well, no, if it's greater than zero, then the program just ends. So it's us out in both cases here. So negative one. As you can see here, since negative one is less than or equal to zero, it will print out that message. But now let's just make it one. As you can see here, there's a blank output because one is obviously greater than zero. Okay, moving on to branch if less than zero. Again, it's probably again repetitive at this point, but it's good to explain. So we're initializing T1 to be one and then branching if less than, less than zero or BLTC instruction, it, it will branch this label if the number is less than zero. And then if not, it will just end the program. We got similar format as before. So that's compile or assemble. So right now we have right now we have a blank output here because one is greater than zero. So now let's do a negative one. See, now it says less than zero. Okay, our last one here, branch if not equal. So, or in other words, BNE instruction. It compares two registers, T1 and T2, and branches to a particular label if those numbers are not equal. So in this case, we have four and two. They're obviously not equal. So we would ex this, this instruction is going to compare four and two and then branch off to line 16 under not equal label. But if they are equal, it will just ex ex exit the program. So let's test out in both cases here. So assemble, run, not equal. And now let's do two and two. As you can see here, nothing printed out. So uh, branches are going to be quite useful with um, MIPS programming. And quite honestly, understand having a good understanding of branch instructions will make you a better programmer in MIPS and honestly, uh, a in any programming language because understanding assembly just makes you an overall better programmer. So uh, appreciate your time. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to comment and have a good day.